okay. I'm from the trap too. But if you want to go to the kingdom, you got to let them streets go. What are you reading the Bible for? Are you reading the Bible to prove to somebody that you do read the Bible and you believe in God? See, you can read the Bible and still don't live by his word. So if you're going to read the Bible, you need to be reading it for his wisdom and understanding and showing you how you're supposed to live. You go read the Bible, then you go to the club. You read the Bible, then you go smoke. No, it don't go like that, baby. It don't. So understand. Stop playing with God like that. Stop playing with God. Oh, so you being lukewarm. So you confused. You really don't know what you want to do, huh? You confused. And then when it comes to prayer time, you pray and you ask God, Oh, Lord, give me the strength to be able to get this car, this house, Lord. You're not praying for the right things. First of all, you got to pray and ask God to change your heart and let him direct you. See, mm, have you ever heard prayer but no work? You pray, but you ain't even doing nothing. Why? You ain't doing nothing. You praying for nothing. If anything, pray and ask God, Lord, give me the strength to change because I don't know how to do it by myself. Yes. And then another reason can be maybe you don't know how to love because you've been hurt so many times and you're afraid to trust somebody. But let me tell you, baby, God is the one to trust. God is the one to trust. Maybe you grew up in the hood and all you know is hood. Like I did, grew up in the hood. That's why my logo is no more trapping, trapping for God. And you don't know, hmm, I trap for God. I play my Christian trap music. That's what I call it. And I be hype. But there's boundaries, okay? There's boundaries. I know my heart is right. And your heart got to be right. You can't be playing with God. Your heart got to be right. So you can have fun. God did not say you could not have fun. You just got to know your word, know your respect, and know his word. You dig? But whoever you are, I'm going to give you some time to think about this. Yeah, I'm going to give you time to think about this. Because know that God is there waiting for you. You know, he probably came looking for you a couple of times, but you ignored him. He's waiting. Just take time out to yourself. I mean, are you embarrassed of God? Huh? You don't want nobody to know that you're reading your word. You don't want nobody to know that you gave your life to Christ. It's okay. Because that's where prosecution come in. Or your homies or your homegirl going to try to say, Ah, she all Christian now, or he all Christian now. We, he ain't going to the club to look at the women no more. Oh, she ain't going me out there to get the money no more. No, that to me is the enemy. I take it how you want to take it. So you want? Ain't you tired of being like Barabbas? Ain't you tired of being a thug, a killer, a stealer, a pimp, a drug dealer? Come on now, ain't you tired? Ain't you tired of waking up the next day wondering how you're going to get your next hustle on? When you can trust in God and just sit there and, and do God's work and he going he gonna to be there for you. Come on now, bruh. Come on now, sis. Holler at me when you want me to pray for you, but I'm going to pray for you anyway. I love you guys with the love of God.